Hello everybody, Bob6983 here, and we are back with some more bonus content on Yoshi's Island. In the last episode, we did the last bonus um, level on Yoshi's Island. In this episode, I wanted to show you something that interesting. So the only reward you get, as far as I know of, is if you 100% every single level, and I mean every level in each world, you get a star next to the next to the title of the game at the very beginning. But yeah, I went ahead and 100% of the other two levels that I didn't 100%, which was the bonus level one or extra one and then extra three, and you get six stars at the uh, in your title. Yeah, that's about it. That's everything you get. Since there really isn't any more bonus content to look at other than like the Bowser levels, after this episode we're probably going to go to the Game Boy version. Yay! I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret because I've, I've only heard bad things about that. So without further ado, let's see what other choices you could have taken in the Bowser level. I'm not really going to worry about collectibles like on, on, right here in the helicopter portion because I mean like it doesn't really matter. I mean unless that is I get them all the first try. Oh! Barely made that. And I'm dead. Great. You know what? Screw it. We're fine. I'll, I'll get every single collectible here. I mean, it's pretty easy. It doesn't really matter. Oh, I believe we took door number two last time. Okay. No, we already took door number two. Okay, try again. What's behind door number one? We did door number two. Oh, whoops. Hey, this is interesting. I think I've only ever been through door number two and door number four. But door number four was when I was going through the Game Boy version. Also, I really don't want to go back and 100% the Game Boy version as well. Because the Game Boy version, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to 100% that one to get the bonus levels. I think you just have to beat the, the, the world with just, just beating it. Come on, give me one more egg. Thank you. This is probably gonna suck. Yeah, this looks like it's really gonna suck. Okay, let's refill up back on eggs slowly. Ah. Okay, I'm just checking every vlog just to make sure you know. Oh! Oh! Go down. Okay, so flower. These four red coins. You need to go down. Okay, door number one doesn't seem too bad. Okay, and then it's just the Kamek portion. Okay. Well, that's what's behind door number one. So, I'm probably just going to die real quick. 
and go back to the middle ring to show you all what else is behind the other doors. Now go ahead, uh, Goonies. I think that's what their names are. Or no, those Goonies are the, the, the birds. I don't know what those guys are. I think they're called Toadies. Yeah, they're called Toadies. Okay, that was behind door number one. That's door number three. Okay. Door number three. Oh no, I've only ever been through door number three then. And door number two. Yeah. I was only ever behind door number door number two and three then. Because this is what I remember doing on the Game Boy version. Yeah, so basically they make you run away from a giant tap tap. And then he does super super big jumps. And then he catches up very quickly. So it's very, very important that you get as many eggs as possible. Because he will somehow catch up to you in a matter of seconds. You do not want to mess around with this tap tap. He will jump. And basically, there is no way to beat him. The other one, you could beat him by throwing him in lava, but this one, there's no way you can beat him. All you, The best thing you can do is just run and hit eggs at him. But yeah, basically, just don't get hit. Try your best to keep him as far to the right as possible. And that's it. Although this, this door is very time consuming, I must say. Oh, I somehow hit him. Kind of crazy. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing him fall into the pit. All right, here, especially here, especially here. You want to make sure that you have as much of a lead as possible. Because he's going to be jumping down from the very top. And he can slam right into you and it'll make you lose a lot of your star count okay from here you want to shoot down there and get that flower this is probably the most intense level that i've that i've played in all of yoshi's island it's like a chase scene and then he chases you again i think all right don't leave this room you gotta eat both shy guys Huh, that's weird. Okay, Kamek, go ahead. Kill me. Kill me. Do it. I said kill me. Kill me. Okay, good. Okay, unless I was wrong, then the Game Boy version has it a little bit different. Because if I remember correctly, in the Game Boy version, there were two portions where that tap tap is running after you. Unless door number four is exactly the same as door number three. So... That's door number one. Still door number two. Still door number two. Door number one. Still door two.
Why can't I get four? Ah, uh, come on. That's door three. Okay, there we go. Hey, door number four. What is behind door number four? Oh. Okay. So I think door number four is the one where it's the easiest out of all of them. Where they basically just spoon feed everything to you. It's just full cool level design at this point. Oh, so if you're lucky enough to get door number four, then you're you're basically good. Huh. Interesting. Well then, kinda disappointed I didn't get door number four then. But yeah, that's about everything that the SNES version of Yoshi's Island has in store. So, I'll get myself killed and then I guess I'll say goodbye to the SNES version of the island. Okay, well that is about it for SNES Yoshi's Island. Other than that, there really isn't anything else. I can show you in this game. Just to prove 100% that I did everything. I'll go back through every world and do the score thing. Wait, I think I learned something from the Game Boy version. Aw, oh, dang, no. It's just in the Game Boy version where it does it. So in the Game Boy version, when you click on the score, which I think is on the top, you can just go through all the other worlds very easily to check all the other worlds for. But yeah, 100% on everything. I do not want to do this again on the Game Boy version. I'm pretty sure they still give you 5 or 6 stars in the title screen. But eventually I probably will have to show it off. Much as I don't want to. Other than this, uh, once I'm done with the bonus videos in the, in the Game Boy Advance version of Yoshi's Island, then I think I'm going to do a, uh, an update video where I'm playing maybe Kirby's Avalanche or something to update on the channel. That's everything you could possibly do. Oh shoot. I guess I'd never show this off. This is interesting. So you can kind of change your button layout. So you can change it from patient to hasty. So number one, which we play with the majority of the time. Press A to, to ready to throw, and then you just press it again to release it. But if you're playing hasty, you just press and hold A and then release it whenever you're ready. Interesting. But yeah, that is everything I could possibly show you in Yoshi's Island SNES. Now on to the Game Boy Advance version. That's about it for this episode, guys. So, next time on Yoshi's Island, we'll be seeing you in the Game Boy version. Honestly, the music is kind of weird in that one. It's like a bit more downgraded. And the camera kind of sucks. See you all then!